What up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. Devin and I are going out kayak fishing this morning. Man, it is just after 6 a.m. First light right here. We should already be at the ponds, but, you know, sometimes you want to sleep in those extra 15 minutes. Anyways, we're feeding the pups and uh, load up the truck. Catch you guys at the water. All right, man, we are here. Christian's out with us this morning. We're about to unload the kayaks and get in the water. Oh man, I'm gonna save y'all a lot of expense and let you know the kayak session did not pan out. We've been out here for an hour. This is why I don't set my alarm clock early, man. Screw this. We're gonna go hit some ponds from the bank, man. Okie dokie smokey, we are here at spot number two, playing overhead. I'm just checking this thing out. Let's go ahead and hit these banks, man. I'm pumped now. All right, man, I got a good feeling about this spot. Jump. Second or third cast. Okay. Saucy swimmer's the move. Moving baits, moving baits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we found them, boys. <laughs> Christian, Christian just walked around the corner. I'm holding this two pounder. Oh, yeah. It's a good day. Oh, bloody tail. They are fat in here and still spawning, I think. So weird. Late bloomers. Saucy swimmer. Yeah, so sorry. Saucy swimmer with the underspin. Small one, like 3.3 inch. I bet they're gonna start smoking that stuff. All right, man. I don't know why we did not just start at this pond, dudes. Sometimes you take out the kayaks, you think you're gonna have a great day. Woke up at 5.30, decided to sleep in until 5.45 because that was just too early. Come out here, second pond, hours later, second cast. Feels good, but at the same time, we could have had 30 fish by now, you know, you know what I'm saying? Cruising slow. All right, let's get some more. Should have started here. Oh, just got smacked. Oh, I was about to say he came back for it. <laughs> Catfish, another bullhead. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Always happens to me. All right, <laughs> little guy. They are in the rocks. Yeah, you gotta get over here, dude. All right, little guy, see ya. You know what? We actually might not have any on the drop. Oh God, the saucy swimmer as it was falling. <laughs> Is it a bluegill? Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, it's a fat. How many things am I gonna catch today? Golly! Everything is eating today, dudes. Look at this little guy. <laughs> See ya. I was trying to talk to Devin. I was not expecting to get hit as the saucy swimmer just falls to the floor. Wow. Oh, on the drop. Yeah, I felt him hit it. Yeah. Like, where is he? There you are. Oh. oh. Just my luck. Come on, come back. Got. I mean, he's little. No, he might not be. Get out of there. Come on. All right, first fish for me this morning. Thank goodness. There you go, bud. So I broke off on that Texas rig over there and figured I'd go ahead and try something a little different. Uh, I believe Wesson's thrown a saucy swimmer as well, but not the same color, and this is a bigger one. I uh, haven't thrown anything moving. It's all been bottom baits here for me. So let's go ahead and give this a go. Uh, I think it looks really cool. The sparkle. Let's go ahead and see if the fish like it. First cast. First cast. Oh, he wants to jump. He's gonna jump. But I'll take it. Come on up here, little guy. Come on up here. 
good deal. Y'all saw that first cast on this saucy swimmer. They are indeed, I think, going after the moving stuff a little bit better. These guys have to be still in spawn because look, every single fish that we pulled out is still got a bloody tail and they're pretty dang chunky. Super cool. All right, bud. Got him right over here by this drain on the back side. Sick man. Nice little fish. See you, bud. Let me go try this one up here for a second. All right, we're gonna hit this pond on the other side of the street. I think I just had bites as soon as you said that, dude. Oh, oh, same thing. There he is. All right, that's the biggest one of the day, I bet. Yep, yep. That's a good one. There we go. That's all right. <laughs> Getting smashed. Gotcha. Like, I think he was over the pipe. I'm pretty sure I just drugged this dude over the pipe. Did you get anything over there too or? IG man. It started slow, baby. We were out there with the kayaks. Total waste of time and an early alarm clock. Then we hit another pond by the bank. Ha, <laughs> producing. All right, bud, go tell your friends. We're trying to get ones just like you. Woo! 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 <laughs> okay, guys, quick rundown on the gear. We are throwing a medium to medium heavy rod right here. Something with a softer tip for these moving baits right here. We are whipping the Scorpion MGL out with the 15 pound fluorocarbon. Y'all know I usually fish line just slightly heavier, but uh, on those moving baits, something a little lighter can't hurt. I probably need to retie, so I think I'm gonna do that. My line's starting to get frayed right here. It could cause me to lose one of those big fish if I get another one, jeopardize the integrity of it. We're throwing that flash bang. You guys can pick this up at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I've got them linked down in the description as well as the Saucy Swimmers. You guys can actually save 30% on all your tackle if you sign up for Carl's Club, like us, man. Throwing the Saucy Swimmers. This is by Guggen Baits, 3.3 inch. Just a small size, man, and it's getting it done. It's ripping right through the grass. What you do is you kind of line this up. You get that hook to go through to where it's like flat and gonna align with that body very nice. And then look at that, there's this little groove in the top of the Saucy Swimmer. Your hook sits right in there. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You don't have to penetrate the body like on a Texas rig like that. That way you're weedless. You remain quite weedless just with it hanging out in that slot right there. And so with that being said, you can also keep the hook essentially exposed because it's not actually dug into the plastic. So when the fish go to grab it, they really push that plastic down and they're gonna get that hook. So this is the way to go, man. Saucy swimmers come in varying sizes and shapes and colors. This is a Guggen HQ exclusive color, electric shad. Just a little bit of flash on, on like a more natural upper body. But go ahead and get you any of those natural colors, shad colors if you've got shad in your lakes, bluegill patterns if you're fishing with bluegill as the bait that these bass are eating, and you're going to have yourself a good old time. This is just a little extra flash. There was a storm a couple days ago, and what's happened is the water's a little bit more murky, so just that little extra flash I think gets their attention, and then that paddle tail just seals the deal, man, and they come in for the kill. I think this is a quarter ounce, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on the weight. I'm pretty sure quarter ounce. Back to back, cast afterwards, and he's good too. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, I literally just got done talking to you guys about this bait and got another one. Let's go. I'm telling them both to come up here. Let's go. Yep, yep, third cast in a row. Biggest one yet, third cast in a row. I just put on a new saucy swimmer. Holy crap, man. The bite is on fire. Oh, there he is. Smallest one. Oh, man. They're ripping through here. See ya. Saucy swimmer for the win.
got you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you little guy. You can have you a big old lunch. It was going to be a good day. And then it turned into a very bad day for you. But it'll turn into a better day because you get to go back in the water. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Come here, bud. Yeah. I think this one's a little bit bigger. There you go. Exactly. Well, you have a good one. You got your picture taken and you're going to be on a movie. You're a movie starfish. Bye bye. Gotcha. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Stay on. Stay on. Come here, little pipsqueak. Get up here. Oh, man. You took my saucy swimmer tail, but I'm not that happy. I'm not happy with you right now. That's not a nice thing to do, but that's most likely going to be our last fish. We want to thank you guys for checking out our morning session. Uh, had high hopes for the kayaks, but man, it did not pay out at all. Let's go ahead and get him in the water. You off. Oh, Dudes, and all the excitement, I totally forgot to film an outro. <laughs> Literally, we smoked the fish today. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Devin and I are about to go take a 12 noon CrossFit class and probably do some more fishing tonight, man. So get ready for more videos. One a day. Let's get them. Peace. <gasps>